we will call to take his oath, Mr. Gak Lucien Wilkin, Attorney General and Minister of Justice and Legal Affairs. Minister, the Oath of Allegiance. I, Gar Lucien Wilkin. I, Gar Lucien Wilkin. Do swear, do swear, that I will faithfully bear true allegiance. That I will faithfully bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to law. According to law. So help me God. So help me God. Oath of office, I, Garth Lucien Wilkin, I, Garth Lucien Wilkin, do swear, do swear, that I will honor, uphold, and preserve, that I will honor, uphold, and preserve, the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, and the law, and the law, that I will conscientiously, that I will conscientiously, impartially, impartially, and to the best of my ability, and to the best of my abilities, discharge my duties as Senator in the National Assembly, discharge my duties as Senator in the National Assembly, and do right to all manner of people, and do right to all manner of people, without fear or favor, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Oath of secrecy. I, Garth Lucien Wilkin, I, Garth Lucien Wilkin, do swear, do swear, that I will not on any account, that I will not on any account, at any time whatsoever, at any time whatsoever, disclose any counsel, disclose any counsel, advice, opinion, or vote, advice, opinion, or vote, given by any minister of the cabinet, given by any minister of the cabinet, and that I will not, and that I will not, accept with the authority of the cabinet, accept with the authority of the cabinet, and to such extent as may be required, and to such extent as may be required, for the proper conduct of the government of St. Christopher and Nevis for the proper conduct of the government of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis directly or indirectly directly or indirectly reveal the business or proceedings of the cabinet reveal the business or proceedings of the cabinet or any matter coming to my knowledge or any matter coming to my knowledge as a member of the cabinet as a member of the cabinet so help me God so help me God The Honorable Garth Wilkin, the successor of the Honorable Vincent Byron Jr., who was the Attorney General in the last administration. The Honorable Garth Wilkin will hold the portfolios of Attorney General, Minister of Justice, and Legal Affairs. He is the son of a well-known lawyer here in the Federation, Charles Wilkin, Queen's Counsel, QC, and he's also a partner in the law firm of Kelsic, Wilkin, and Ferdinand. The Attorney General, of course, is the, the top lawyer for the government and who holds the responsibility of rep representing the government in all litigation cases. The Attorney General also has the responsibility to advise the government in all matters, in all legal matters and justice matters. So the Attorney General holds an extremely important role in any cabinet. And of course, Mr. Wilkin, the Honorable Wilkin, will be expected to take up the post as Senator when the Parliament is convene. The Constitution says it's 90 days after an election when the, the Parliament has to be convened and so 
he will have a contribution to make there. But he has an interesting fact as well. Gatz has a degree, a Bachelor's of Science degree, in civil engineering, cum laude, that he received from the Virginia Tech in the United States and also an LLB honors from the University of the West Indies, Cave Hill. And he has an LEC from the Norman Manley Law School, where he graduated as a member of the Principal's Roll of Honor. During his first three years of practice in St. Kitts and Nevis, he was acting as the Crown Counsel Prosecutor in the High Courts of St. Kitts, Nevis and Anguilla, according to his profile here. Important to note also is that the Honorable Darth Wilkin was the president of the Bar Association, and so he would have had to recently resign in order to take up this post as Attorney General and Minister of Justice and Legal Affairs. That I will faithfully bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, her heirs and successors, according to law, according to law. So help me God. So help me God. The oath of office as Attorney General. I, Garth Lucian Wilkin. I, Garth Lucian Wilkin. Do swear. Do swear. That I will honor, uphold, and preserve. That I will honor, uphold, and preserve. The Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis. The Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis. And the law. And the law. That I will conscientiously. That I will conscientiously. Impartially, impartially, and to the best of my ability, and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties as Attorney General. Discharge my duties as Attorney General in the government of the Federation of Saint Christopher and Nevis. In the government of the Federation of Saint Christopher and Nevis, and do right to all manner of people, and do right to all manner of people without fear or favor, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. I, Garth Lucian Wilkin, I, Garth Lucian Wilkin, do swear, do swear, that I will honor, uphold, and preserve, that I will honor, uphold, and preserve the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis, and the law, and the law, that I will conscientiously, that I will conscientiously, impartially, impartially, and to the best of my ability, and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties, discharge my duties, as Minister in the Government of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis, as Minister in the Government of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis, and do right to all manner of people, and do right to all manner of people, People. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Oath of secrecy. I, Garth Lucian Wilkin. I, Garth Lucian Wilkin. Do swear. Do swear. That I will not on any account. That I will not on any account. At any time whatsoever. At any time whatsoever. Disclose any counsel. As, sorry. Disclose any counsel, advice. Opinion or vote. Opinion or vote. Given by any minister of the cabinet. Given by any minister of the cabinet. And that I will not. And that I will not. Accept with the authority of the cabinet. Accept with the authority of the cabinet. And to such extent as may be required. And to such extent as may be required. For the proper conduct of the government of St. Christopher and Nevis. For the proper conduct of the government of St. Christopher and Nevis. Directly or indirectly reveal. Directly or indirectly reveal. The business or proceedings of the cabinet. The business or proceedings of the cabinet or any matter coming to my knowledge or any matter coming to my knowledge as a member of the cabinet as a member of the cabinet so help me god. so help me god thank you very much the position of Attorney General, Justice and Legal Affairs. It means that the 
Attorney General will have responsibilities, of course, for the court, the magistrate's court, the high court. He will be responsible, of course, for the all matters legal that have to do with the government, the rule of law, the public administration of the law, and so anybody who sues the government, it is the Attorney General, of course, who comes into play here. His role of defending the government. And that actually is in keeping with his expertise as a civil litigator. Um, he, his area of expertise include general commercial litigation, banking, insurance, construction litigation and arbitration, injunctive relief litigation, employment law and environmental law. Well versed. And our courts, of course, play a crucial role in the administration of justice. In a democratic society, of course, the rule of law is extremely important. And that means that people must be treated justly, people must be treated fairly, people must be treated with respect. Additionally, the Constitution comes into play. It is very important and that people's rights in the Constitution must be respected. Of course, the Constitution, we have a written Constitution, and that is the highest law of the land. In Parliament, laws are made, and that is also is extremely uh, important to the functioning of the society in which we live. Of course, the laws are made, and when laws are made, laws are made for the good of the people. No law should be made that should adversely affect the development of people. And of course, you know, with government, we have the three branches. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable, uh, and our new Attorney General.